The principal defendant and the, the defendant that ultimately filed for Chapter 11 protection is a company called New England Compounding Company. The drug that they happen to be making was a drug called methylprednisone. The drug is used mainly for injecting into uh, the back and epidural procedures for chronic back pain. It needs to be manufactured in the most pristine setting to which safety would not be compromised, and this company was doing anything but that. All the inspection materials revealed improperly cleaning the premises, bringing other contaminants in the premises by not using sterile suits. There were serious contamination issues with this so-called clean room. They made a very large quantity of this particular methylprednisone, and it went out to over a hundred hospitals and clinics where thousands of patients were injected. Seventy people died and approximately 1,600 people have incurable, horrible fungal meningitis today and will never be cured. Our firm has a reputation for taking tough cases that look like they're headed into bankruptcy. We invite companies into bankruptcy. The bankruptcy court offers a, ch a third party channeling injunction. So through a series of very complicated bankruptcy legal maneuverings, we were able to offer the hospitals and clinics an injunction and release for every harm that they caused or contributed to. So they can get the same remedy in the bankruptcy court as if they were the debtor. So it's quite a very attractive remedy, a very powerful tool in bankruptcy. We had a trustee appointed in this case. The trustee had to be convinced that I could put together a deal based on the liability that I was presenting to him. It took a lot of education. It took a lot of knowledge on my behalf. I essentially had to try the case of the trustee for his permission to allow the case to continue. And if that wasn't tough enough, then I had to look a judge square in the eye and say, I can do this, give me the time to do it, and the clock was ticking. So this case was opened, the ballots were mailed, the plan was up for confirmation and voted upon in under two years. We had 99% approval and voting in support of the plan. The $220 million is a collective amount contributed to by various parties. The biggest contributors are the assets of the debtor. We had to do the best we could for these victims because these are very, very seriously ill people. And the families that lost loved ones, the devastation, and the biggest outbreak of a drug contamination case in the history of the FDA. Judge Boroff, he said this is the highest, best use of bankruptcy law I have ever seen.